Hello everyone. Welcome to Geography class for class 7. Today we are going to start with the lesson Atmosphere. Take out your geography book. Take out page number 19 of lesson number 2. Let's discuss the key concepts of the lesson. Introduction, composition of atmosphere, gases that present in the air, structure of the atmosphere, greenhouse effect, meaning and causes, global warming, causes and impact of global warming ways to reduce the global warming let's discuss the learning outcomes of the lesson to describe the importance of gases that comprise the atmosphere to describe the composition of different gases in the atmosphere to describe the importance of layers of the atmosphere to sustain life on the earth draw the diagram to show the structure of atmosphere to discuss the causes of global warming on the life of the earth to understand the impact of global warming on the life of the earth to analyze the reasons of depletion of ozone layer and suggest the ways to reduce it today is day 1 in today's video we will discuss introduction and composition of the atmosphere let's discuss the new terms that you are going to do in this topic atmosphere the layer of gases that surrounds the earth water vapor amount of water droplets present in the air weather and atmospheric condition of a place for a short period of time for example rainy day sunny day climate and atmospheric condition of a place for a long period of time for example hot or cold temperature degree of hotness or coldness introduction of the topic atmosphere our earth is surrounded by a huge blanket of air called atmosphere all the human beings depends on atmosphere for their survival earth with its spherical shape divided into three domains lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere these three domains together makes biosphere now we are going to read about atmosphere atmosphere blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere like land and water air is also significant important for our life we cannot live in the absence of air air is a mixture of various gases that surrounds the earth we cannot feel air when it is calm but air can be felt when it is in motion we cannot feel air when it is calm but air can be felt when it is in motion when air is moving layer of gases surrounding the earth is known as atmosphere this is the definition student layer of gases surrounding the earth is known as atmosphere along with the gases a variable amount of water vapor water vapor means amount of water droplets present in the air and dust particles are also significant components of the atmosphere all the gases water vapor and dust particles combine together to form the atmosphere these all together form like gases and water vapor dust particles they all together form the atmosphere the gravitational force of the earth holds it around the earth that is why the atmosphere is denser near the earth surface and it start thinning as we move away from the earth surface ultimately it merges into the space thus there is no definite boundary between the atmosphere and space so gravitational force hold the atmosphere as a magnet surrounds the earth that's why mountain climbers or mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders when they climb over the mountain because the air is denser near the earth surface and it start thinning as we move away from the earth surface there is no limit where is the end of the atmosphere there is no definite boundary between the atmosphere and the space it is believed that the atmosphere extend up to the height of 1600 km from the surface of the earth Let us know the composition of various gases in the atmosphere. Composition of air. Air is a mixture of various gases in different proportions. First is nitrogen with seventy-eight percent, 
which comprises a large part of atmosphere next is oxygen with 21% is a life supporting gas and 1% are the other gases including helium argon hydrogen carbon dioxide dust particles and water vapor let's read the composition of air composition of atmosphere the atmosphere is made up of various gases water vapor dust particles etc a combination of various gases like nitrogen oxygen argon carbon dioxide helium neon methane hydrogen ozone etc make the atmosphere an approximate analysis of the constituent of the atmosphere is given below composition of atmosphere gases nitrogen 78.08 oxygen 21 argon 0.93 carbon dioxide 0.03 neon 0.0018 helium 0.005 methane 0.00017 ozone 0.0006 hydrogen 0.0005 nitrogen nitrogen is tasteless colorless and odorless gas plants and small organisms need nitrogen for their growth atmospheric nitrogen is converted into nitrogen compound by nitrogen fixing bacteria present in the soil plants cannot use it directly plants absorbs nitrogen compounds and convert them into proteins animals take these proteins by eating plants or other animals nitrogen is also used to make fertilizers and also used in food packaging factories let's read nitrogen now it has a highest concentration of nearly 78.8% in the atmosphere it extends up to the height of 128 km from the earth surface nitrogen is lighter than oxygen and carbon dioxide the plants and the small organism need nitrogen for their growth the plants and the small organism need nitrogen for their growth but they cannot use it directly from the atmosphere nitrogen is tasteless colorless and odorless gas that controls combustion the process of burning it is difficult to control fire without nitrogen Like nitrogen, oxygen is also an important gas in atmosphere. Oxygen is plentiful gas in atmosphere. It is essential for the survival of plants and animals. Living being needs oxygen to breathe and stay alive. Green plants produce oxygen during the process of photosynthesis. Oxygen is called the life supporting gas. It is essential for combustion as all the organism including human being require oxygen for their survival. It is colorless odorless gas it is heavier than nitrogen it dissolves in water it required for the survival of every human being let's read about oxygen now oxygen after nitrogen it has a second highest concentration in atmosphere it is heavier than nitrogen but it is lighter than carbon dioxide its concentration is about 21% in the atmosphere oxygen is also called the life supporting gas as all the organism including human require oxygen to breathe we breathe with the help of oxygen without oxygen we can't survive it is essential for combustion combustion means the process of burning after oxygen another important gas is carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide it is the heaviest gas in the atmosphere carbon dioxide is used by the green plants for making food during the process of photosynthesis oxygen gas is released whereas this release oxygen gas is used by the humans to breathe and in return they release carbon dioxide its concentration is varies with the variability in the level of pollution like in the cities carbon dioxide concentration is more with the level of pollution whereas in the gardens and the villages due to less pollution less level of carbon dioxide is there there are the various reasons like pollution coming from the industries residential areas pollution from the vehicles deforestation etc almost 20 million tons of co2 net gain per year so we should do carpooling we should plant more and more trees we should not cut the trees let's read about carbon dioxide now carbon dioxide it is the heaviest gas in the atmosphere it is a highly variable gas 
of atmosphere because its concentration varies with the variability in level of pollution the amount of absorbed carbon dioxide by the plant seems to be equal to the amount of carbon dioxide released by the humans and animals this makes a perfect balance in environment like in the cities more level of pollution is there so more level of carbon dioxide is there whereas in the gardens and villages less level of pollution is there so less level of carbon dioxide is also there its concentration is essential for the growth of plants because plants prepare their food with carbon dioxide and produce oxygen and that released oxygen is used by the humans for breathing however the balance of carbon dioxide is disturbing because factories industries vehicles is extra adding a huge amount of pollutants means substance that pollutes something to the atmosphere to wow. to the atmosphere and thus creating an imbalance in the level of carbon dioxide which is adversely affecting the ecosystem carbon dioxide keeps the atmosphere warm by absorbing sun rays it is also used by the plants to produce oxygen human and animals release carbon dioxide inhale intake oxygen to stay alive and release carbon dioxide which is used by the plants to make their food let's read about ozone o3 ozone gas is produced by the action of solar radiation on oxygen present in the atmosphere ozone gas absorbs the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun ozone breaks the ultraviolet rays and react with two molecules of oxygen and make the oxygen three molecule it is highly reactive form of oxygen it absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun let's read about ozone now ozone it is produced by the action of solar radiation on the oxygen gas present in the atmosphere three molecules of oxygen are present in the ozone gas that is o3 it is a formula of o3 ozone gas it is highly reactive form of oxygen it is highly reactive form of oxygen which absorbs the ultraviolet rays coming from the sun and keep the earth warm its concentration is about 0.0006% in the atmosphere it absorbs harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun along with the gases dust particle and water vapor also plays an important role in the water exist in the atmosphere either in the gaseous form as water vapor or in the liquid form as rain cloud or in the solid forms like snow hail let's read about water vapor and dust particles the atmosphere has unpredictable proportion of water the water exists in atmosphere either in gaseous form as water vapor or in liquid form as rain and clouds it's or in the liquid form like snow hails in the other solid particles present in atmosphere are smoke and dust we find a great contrast difference in the weather definition of weather and atmospheric condition of a place for a short period of time and climate definition of climate and atmospheric condition of a place for a short long period of time of different regions because of the variable water content in atmosphere the concentration of water vapor and dust particles in the atmosphere varies from time to time and place to place the water vapor is mainly concentrated near the oceanic floor as compared to the land areas for example in the coastal areas or near to the water bodies air has a greater percentage of water vapor on the other hand away from the water bodies like in deserts or lands air contains less water vapor in the atmosphere the dust particles plays a significant role in the process of condensation condensation means the process in which the water vapor changes in the water droplet these are also called the hydroscopic nuclei why so because dust particle have a center of attraction which attracts the water vapor and in this way the rain drops form the water vapor and dust particles are found in the lower layer of atmosphere in the troposphere discuss the following which is the life supporting gas name the gas that has the highest concentration in atmosphere dash helps in controlling fire the dash force of the earth holds the atmosphere around the earth name the gas which traps the heat of the sun why is ozone layer important for earth dash is a highly reactive form of oxygen 
आई होप स्टूडेंट्स यू अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक यू आर एबल टू डू सम एक्सरसाइजेस डोंट फोकेट टू लर्न द टर्म्स आई कम विद द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू